हेलो एवरीवन एज आई हैव सेड यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू मोशन अप द इंक्लाइन प्लेन और मोशन डाउन द इंक्लाइन प्लेन सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द मोशन इन द इंक्लाइन प्लेन विच वॉज टॉट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सी ए प्रॉब्लम you can see which is already written here a body of mass 200 kg is initially stationary on a 15 degree inclined plane so there is a body whose mass is 200 kg it is in a stationary position at an angle of 15 degree on an inclined plane which is at an angle of 15 degree okay inclined plane and uh, what distance along the inclined plane must the body slide before it reaches a speed of 10 meter per second that means uh, stationary means the initial velocity is uh, zero and the final velocity is 10 meter per second so you have to calculate what is the distance uh, traveled by this particular body of mass 200 kg um, from initial position and what distance is it has uh, traveled till it has uh, reached the velocity of 10 meter per second so you have to take the coefficient of friction as given in the question as 0.1 so this is a problem related to motion in an inclined plane so so let us solve it so first let us draw the diagram as per the, the question this is a inclined plane of an angle of 15 degree and here there is a body whose mass is 2 mass is 200 kg okay so this is actually the mass so the weight will be 200 into 9.8 newton so 200 into 9.8 after calculation okay so you can do the calculation this is 200 into 9.8 newton so let us draw the free body diagram so this is the line which i have drawn it is you can say the normal reaction which is perpendicular to the contact surface this line and you know the concept of direction this body can move in a, all the directions but it cannot move in this directions because of the presence of this particular inclined plane so the body cannot move in this direction okay so the direction of the reaction will be opposite so this we can take it as r so if this is 15 degree this comes around 15 degree okay so let us resolve these uh, this particular weight into two components so this comes and 200 into 9.8 cos 15 i hope everyone knows this resolution how how to resolve the forces 200 into 9.8 sin 15 so as this is a rough surface the body will move in downward direction okay so it will start from rest so initial velocity is zero so it is traveling in this direction so frictional force will be opposite that is f is equal to mu into r okay and here mu is given as 0.1 as given in the question so these are the data and we have completed the free body diagram for the question okay 
So you can see here. <coughs> Let us see how to solve the problem. Like we have to find out uh, the distance along the inclined plane. How much distance the body has traveled? A body of mass 200 kg. So let us solve this problem solution so first let us write down what is the given data okay so write down the given data so the given data is uh, that is given as the mass of the body as 200 kg and the initial velocity that is it is in the stationary position so the initial velocity is zero okay initial velocity i'm taking as a small u then what more else is given <coughs> inclination of the plane so this is 15 degree mm, i'll take that as alpha as 15 degree okay theta beta whatever you want to take you can take the notations then final velocity i'm taking as v it is 10 meter per second and uh, coefficient of friction mu is given as 0 0.1 which you have already written here so these are the five parameters which has been given so what you have to find out you have to find out s so let s be the distance through which to which the body will slide okay so this is the parameter which you are going to find out so that let us take it as s okay so now here as we have discussed in the previous classes let us find out which force is actually responsible for the movement of the body okay so and let us find out the <coughs> total force actually which is responsible for the movement of the body so as the body is moving in downward direction so this particular component of force that is 200 into 9.8 sine 15 is greater than the frictional force so this value minus this value will be the net force available to move this body so let us find out net force to move the body so the net force to move the body is as i told you this is moving in down the plane so this is greater and frictional force is smaller okay it's a general concept so 200 into 9.8 sine 15 minus mu into r 0 0.1 into r so what is r you can see here this r is equal to how much 200 into 9.8 cos 15 clear this both are equal and opposite you can see here we can take this as horizontal and this as vertical so r is equal to how much 200 into 9.8 cos 15 okay so here after uh, calculation um, of 200 into 9.8 uh, um, sin 15 we are going to get uh, calculate that is 507.2 please cross, cross verify it and uh, the value of this is minus 189.3 okay 
So, after calculation, we are going to get this value as 1, 317.9 Newton. Okay. So, this is the net force. So, okay, if you are uh, having any confusion here, you see the net force to move the body is, here the body is moving in downward direction, this force minus uh, this. Okay. So, R is this much. So, if you want, you can write here, the value here, R is equal to, clear, mg cos 15 degree. For reference, this. So, the net force which is available to move the body in downward direction is this. So, force is, you got is 317.9. Okay. And you know, F is equal to mass into acceleration. Clear? F is equal to mass into acceleration. So, mass into acceleration. Okay. So, force how much you got? 317.9. Mass is uh, 200 into A. So, from here you will get the acceleration of the body um, that comes around 317.9 by 200. After calculation, uh, you are going to get it as 1.59 meter per second square. So, you got the value of A also. Is this clear? Then, but we have to find out what the distance. Yeah, what distance it has traveled. So, initial velocity is given. Let us find out. Now, initial velocity is 0. Final velocity is uh, how much? Mm, final velocity is <coughs> 10 meter per second. Okay. And A, you got it here. 1.59 meter per second square. Clear? Initial velocity, final velocity, A is given. You have to find out S. Yes. So, which equation to use? You know it. So, that is uh, as these three things we are going to find out in this equation. That is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. There may be a doubt in your mind that what about the other two equations of uh, linear motion that is S is equal to ut plus half at square and uh, v is equal to u plus at. In both the things we have one parameter that is time and here we don't have that uh, time, how much time it has taken from to move from the stationary position that is initial velocity 0 to final velocity 10 meter per second, how much time it has taken. There is nowhere mentioned in the question. So, that is why you are using this equation. So, you substitute the value of this in the equation 2 into 1.59 into S. So, finally, you get S is equal to 100. 2 into 1.59 it is. Uh, 3.18 so you will get 31.4 meter so this is the final answer so the distance uh, traveled along the inclined plane so this much distance it has traveled so initial velocity from stationary position till it has achieved a velocity of 10 meter per second it has travelled this much distance, that is 31.4 meter. Okay. So, this completes the problem.